I think the last time I shared anything was when I shared myself with you. There wasn't much difference between us, but there was enough that I felt like it wasn't good to be more than an arm's length away from you. And that's what I did. I kept you close. There were too many others, and sometimes our mother could not be the bear to you, but I could. And I put my paws around you, and I pulled you close. I protected you from things that weren't dangerous, and I guided you down roads that were. But always I made you my shadow. And I would drag you along from one drama to another, and you looked up to me until we were the same height. And for some reason, you never saw that I was savage. Maybe your eyes were so full of love that they didn't see a damn thing, but all I know is that if there was trouble, you were there to find it with me. But all these years later, if I wanted to hold your hand, I couldn't, because there is no hand. It's gone. The people who made you theirs made sure of that because they turned you into ashes. There isn't even a stone where I can put my tiny pebbles. There's not a place for me to place the flowers that I would have given you when you were alive. I took you through the heavy sheets of linen that hung in the backyard every spring and summer. And we would crouch together and I would unlock my evil and share it with you. And later... When I struggled with monsters that nearly killed me, you found your own monster. He attacked you from the inside. There were no sober days for you. You could not choose your tormentor the way that I could, because I could put down my monster, but yours buried his hand inside of you. He was hollowing you out like a pumpkin, and when you were almost empty, I came to you and I held your hand, and it was like we were where we were, when we were first friends, when we were made into friends because I was born before you. I put my eyes on you and I never stopped looking and you never knew what it was like not to have a big sister. But now I will spend the rest of my days being an only child.